Okay, so in today's episode, we're going to talk about a Tesla Model 3 problem that people have been having. Either you are having your batteries dead and degraded, or you tried to prevent that problem and you bought a lithium 12 volt battery and you were fine for a while but now you're getting that 12 volt battery must be replaced soon software updates will not complete until serviced error which is what we have and we're going to talk about getting this done and attempting to fix this and that's coming up Hey, what's up guys? This is Hervé from Hervé's World, showing you that IT means I try. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to subscribe. So on this channel, we do unboxings, desktop support, life hacks, actual hacking, and product upgrades, such as replacing your battery and causing an issue in your car. That's exactly what we're going to do. We are having 12 volt must be replaced soon. Error, software updates will not complete until service. We're going to take a look and see where in the forums we can find steps to correct this issue and we'll attempt to do so in my garage. Anything we discuss in this episode you'll find right on the bottom. All the steps to do this will be right on the bottom. Haven't seen a video on this yet, so that's what we're going to do. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I will catch you guys in the video. Okay, so the first thing you're going to see is we have this error right here. Now, I've had two or three updates you can see that they're waiting here but when you try to actuate the update I get this error right here unable to start the software update because there is an issue related to the 12 volt battery and or low voltage electrical system check for related alerts and resolve before trying to update so that's what we're trying to take care of today we're getting this error you'll see that there are updates here but we need to take care of it. okay step one open the doors okay next step open the front Next step is powering off the car. Click on safety and security, power off, and we hit power off. Okay, so next, we need to go under the seat. You feel the latch right over here, and you push it away towards you. Here, and here. That shows you the underside of the seat. So let me get you in a better position because we're going here next. Next, we remove this foam right over here. Now you have to pinch and pull down and then you can remove the bracket. Just like that. Now the car is disconnected from the source. We are going to take off this plate right over here and it pops off pretty easy. Just like that. And let me... Okay, now be very careful. Okay, now I'm just gonna move this on the side, tuck it down on the side so it doesn't touch, and you leave it off for 10 minutes, starting now. Hey Siri, set a timer for 10 minutes. Okay, 10 minutes and counting. Okay, so now we wait about 10 minutes, then we do the exact reverse of the process, by starting with the battery, put the power pack, make sure everything's there. It should flush away any and all errors that you have with your battery. 
and then we should be good to go to do the update. So back in 10 minutes. There are caveats to be aware of. If you're doing this and you're disconnecting your battery pack, you're not gonna have power in the car since you took off the 12 volt battery and the battery pack. So make sure that the doors are open and at least your windows are down because if you do this, you're not gonna be able to get out. Okay, that's 10 minutes. Let's start the reverse process. Okay, so I'm gonna put the lead back in. And now we're going to tighten. Okay, now we're going to reconnect the battery pack. That's good. We're going to place the foam. We're going to place the chair back and we're going to go on the other side and push it down. And now this side. That's good. Let's close the doors. We can close the hood. And now we can get back in the car and restart the vehicle. Okay, so let's turn the car back on and see if we get the message. Haha, <laughs> no message. Awesome. But can we update the car? How awesome is that? That's awesome. Well, if that's going to do it for this episode, I want to give a shout out and a thank you to AJ. I'm going to put his IG right over here. Jersey underscore m3p gave me a crash course on how to do this explain the process and then i went to the Tesla forums to get a detailed breakdown for you guys well that's going to do it for this episode i will catch you guys in the next one remember it means i try i'm going to enjoy the glorious bounty of tesla update 2020.36.10 hopefully there's some goodies i will catch you guys in the next one remember it means I try. Peace. Don't forget, like, subscribe. I'm going to throw AJ's IG right over here. And anything you guys want to see on the process, the car, let me know in the bottom. I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.